planning a family road trip? Hold on. Before you pack the kids in the car, check these five things to keep your family safe. Road trips can take a serious toll on your vehicle, so it's important to make sure your car is in tip-top shape before you leave. We asked Sal Rubino, Fixed Operations Director at BMW of Manhattan, to share with us the five most important things to check on your car before a road trip. Number one, make sure your tires are ready. One of the first things you want to do is check your tire uh, pressure. Now, I know what some of you are thinking that my car has a tire pressure monitor system that tells me when the pressures are off, which is true. However, there is an acceptable variance within that tire pressure monitor system. And you just want to make sure you're not at the low end of the threshold. Another thing checking your tire pressures does is it allows you the opportunity to visually inspect your tires for bubbles or tears or something like that, because those won't generally register on the tire pressure monitor system. Another thing you want to do is you want to check your tire tread depth gauge. Uh, tread depth is very important. You want to have enough there so that the car can stop when it's supposed to and that it's also safe in wet conditions. Number two, check your wheel alignment. We had one customer that uh, came into the dealership with brand new tires, decided not to do an alignment, went on a long road trip. By the time the customer was back, um, the tires were completely bald. This obviously is unsafe, especially in wet conditions, but also it affects the vehicle handling. Number three, make sure all your lights work. First thing you do is you turn the vehicle on, make sure it's in park, turn on your headlights, and make sure that they're working. Operate your high beams, make sure those are working, and then check your turn signals. An easy way to do this, instead of using the stock, is you can turn on your hazard lights, and this will turn all the turn signals on at once. So you can just walk around the vehicle and make sure they're all working. Next thing you want to do is check your brake lights. Again, make sure the vehicle is in park, the engine is off, so that somebody can safely go behind the car to visually inspect the brake lights for you. Step on the brake pedal. Number four, check your wipers and windshield. The first thing you should do is check your wiper blades. So what you want to do is lift your wiper blades off the windshield, visually inspect them, make sure that they're not torn or dry rotted or um, dirty. If they're physically in good shape but are a little dirty, you can wipe them down with a, a wet paper towel. Another thing you want to do is check the windshield itself. Any small chips or cracks can turn into larger cracks over the course of a long road trip. Number five, make sure your seat belts work. First thing you want to do is take the seat belt strap and give it a quick snap. The seat belt should stop your hand. If it does not, you should definitely get this checked out at a dealership. Another thing you want to do is check the seat belt buckle itself. This is common to, to those of us with children. Children will eat and drink in the back seat. What winds up happening is they'll pour sugary drinks down the seatbelt buckles. What happens is these seatbelt buckles over time will start to bind because of those sugary drinks that were poured down there. So generally what you want to do is inspect those buckles to make sure that they're operating correctly and they don't bind and they work when you need them to. To learn more about the BMW X5, visit BMWNYC.com.